we are now on the road to 200 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like because I make NBA content just like this every single day. So there, there's your reason right there. All right. I know it's been a while. It's been like two or three days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, here, here. You can hit. You can hit me. It's okay. You can hit me. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's it. No more hits. No more. Welcome back to this Miami Heat my league. It's been it's been a couple days since I've uploaded. Forgive me. I've had a lot of things on my plate. All right. Good things coming to store. I mean, I have a very very special 2K19 video coming very very soon. Trust me, it's gonna be good. It's taken a while. And I recently bought a Switch. Yep. This is, I'm not gonna record videos on the Switch. There's really no point. That's just for my own pleasure. Uh, I have I got pre-order 2K20 soon. Once they actually release gameplay, then I'll pre-order it. Yeah. Even though I'm gonna pre-order it, no matter what. If you didn't, I'll switch an Xbox for 2K20, so I can actually you know record park and all that. But if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 200 subs. We're at 180. We're getting close. We're getting close. We could probably be pretty close if I decide to upload the past two or three days. But I didn't. Because I'm a slacker. Also, 80% of you watching this right now. Yes, 80% of you. You, you, Jeremy. Jeremy, I see you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare click off, Jeremy. Jer okay, thank you. 80% of you are not subscribed watching this. What are you doing? Four out of five of you watching this are not subbed. You, don't, don't make me sad. Don't make me sad. Don't make me sad. Jeremy, I swear to God, I will hunt you down. And I will destroy everything you love. Not your family, because that's violent. And apparently video games cause violences. Now, I'm not even going to get to that. I'm not going to get into that. But, we're back here with the Miami Heat My League, alright? This has been doing very well, so I want to keep it going until 2K20. I didn't expect it to do this well, but it's been doing very well. I think, oh god, excuse me. The thing is, though... The audience retention rate is 20%. I upload probably like 10 to 12 minute videos for this wise. So that means you guys are sitting through like 2 minutes. Average, average. Not all of you. Some of you might be sitting through the full video. I don't know. But if you are, you know, just watching this for 2 minutes and then leaving. You're probably leaving right now. Don't do it. Let me know before you leave why you're leaving in the comments. I need to know. I need to know why. Alright? I need to know why you're leaving. It doesn't make sense to me. I can't make my content better if I don't know why you're leaving. Alright? So that's out of the way. Let's actually get started with the video. Now, if you missed last episode, we've made some pretty big moves, I believe. I already forgot last episode, to be honest with you. We traded for Bradley Beal. Alright? I forgot the trade we made. I'm not sure if it's going to be here. Uh, yep, here it is. Um, 2022 first round pick, Justice Winslow, Evan Fournier, $5 million, and Romeo Langford. It's kind of a realistic trade if you think about it. They get a new point guard in Justice Winslow. Very young. He's like 23, 24. They get a salvageable shooting guard who's like 27 in Evan Fournier. Uh, they get an extra $5 million. And then they get a future shooting guard in Romeo Langford for Bradley Beal. I would have added John Wall in the trade, but he is still injured, so I can't do that. But you never know. Maybe we'll trade for John Wall down the line. All right. Now... Our team, I think I already, yeah, this is my lineup. Dennis Schroeder is going to be our starting point guard aver after averaging 18 points off the bench last season. Yes, this was off the bench. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do starting wise. We do have Bradley Beal, so he's scoring, he might average like 13, 14 points. But I'm fine with that as a point guard. If, we, if he averages less than like 5 assists, then I might look to trade him. But I did just resign him for like, what, 9 mil? Yeah, 9 mil. So. He's going to be 31 by the end of the contract, making 11 mil. That's a steal, dude. So he might be on this team for a good amount of time. We got Bradley Beal, obviously. I mean, I'm going to change his number. Don't worry. Uh, Jimmy Butler, obviously, who had it. Okay, no. He was having a bad season, but then he picked it up um, last year. Um, Kevin Love still on the team. We might be looking for a trade for him. He didn't disappoint last season. 16 and 10. He played very good in the playoffs. But... You know, he, he might get traded. He might get traded. I might look for a more defensive power forward or just maybe a top tier. Because our problem last year was, you know, um, scoring. We had no scoring. We were the worst scoring team in the league. So hopefully Bradley Beal helps that. Um, we got Bam Adebayo playing the center position. Hopefully he can take a leap. I average like 12 to 13 points. I am developing him to score. 
That's what I'm focusing on for him. I have him in training for scoring purposes only. 10 points, 11 rebounds, a steal and a block and a half is very good. He's going to be our starting center for the rest of the series. It's just going to say, unless I make a blockbuster move, which is unlikely. Tyler Hero, he's going to stay off the bench for now until Bradley Beal. He's a free agent this year. Uh, I'm more than likely going to re-sign him. Why wouldn't I? But maybe down the line, we'll move Beal to point guard or we'll trade Beal. And depends how Hero plays. But 27 minutes off the bench, the bench, not the bench, is good. Casey Opal, after just spending a year in the G League, 77 overall, is going to be our backup small forward in 21 minutes. We signed Trey Burke, another scorer. Um, Jeff Green, pretty good player. He can give you like 10 to 12 points. And then a bunch of fillers. We don't care. Luke Cornette was going to be the power forward, but we had Jeff Green, so there was really no point in making him it. Uh, Bradley Bill and Jimmy Butler are our scoring options. Everything is the same. Uh, sense of proficiency is balanced. If we go to power rankings, we should be at top 10. Number 8 and number 6 and number 8. So that makes us like a 7 average. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to make any trades this episode. I might jump into a game, honestly. I honestly, I think I might jump into a game. Let's you know. Let's check out this Nets game. Let's see how the Nets are doing over here. Can we, win our, we win our first game against the Hawks. Let me check that out. Schroeder dropped 30. Oh, Dan, okay. The market is on the Hawks. Dennis Schroeder dropped 30. Oh, boy. Let's some gas against the Nets. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We lost by 40. Love drop 24. Short to drop 16, but Butler and Beal, where are you at? Okay, let's, let's go up against the Lakers. And that like that would be any better. I don't that's a terrible trade. Why would I ever do that in my life? We won by one point against and we lose to the Kings. Yeah, let me trade Jimmy Butler back for Winslow. That's why I want to do. And Fournier. Can we beat the Lakers or at least make it close? No, not it. Nope, nope. Let's keep going. Nope, okay. Yep, that went terrible. Dennis Schroeder, though, he's playing very well. Beal's not. Beal's playing like crap. Can I just get into a close game? Even if we lose, I just want to get into a close game. All right? Okay, okay, okay. I'll get into a blowout. I'm fine with that. I want. Ah, oh, I took too long. F, I wanted to play this game, actually. Not really much scoring, which I don't like. Alright? I want to jump to a game. I effed up that one. I simmed way too far. No, nope, if I'm not trading Jimmy. Why would I trade Jimmy for Andrew Wiggins? Uh, that's not a bad trade, but there's really no point. Wow, dude, we're doing bad. We're actually doing very bad. Five and seven? At least we, we might... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? We had, we let him score 40 in the, th oh my god, Bam had to drop 25 in this, Jesus Bam, okay. Dude, this is not going well. Alright, well, Bradley Beal's reunion, this is terrible right now, we're 5 and 7, we're 3 and 7, never mind, we didn't even have 5 wins. I don't think Kevin Love's the problem, but, dude, if we gotta make changes, thank you, we're finally winning a game. Okay, I'm gonna jump into this game, I'm not simming anymore, voice crack. Alright, we're in the game here. Uh, you, you already know from my my careers. It's not unrealistic. I keep forgetting to change Bradley Beal's number. Oh, wall on Beal. Pull up Beal. And bang! It's on my realistic sliders I do for my my careers. Is that, is that Josh Jackson? No, that's Winslow. I'm stupid. No! Okay, John Wall. Euro step. They got Winslow playing the small forward, I'm guessing. Maybe shooting guard? I don't know. They don't have Romeo Langford on the court, so that's interesting. Let's see, I want to get... Okay, I want to get Tally Hero involved. Let's see. Pick and fake. If John Wall doesn't reach. Alright, we got Shorter back in the game, so that means... I'm not Tyler Hero's right there. That just means that, whatchamacallit, Bradley Beal's now gone, so that's good. I got a three-pointer with him. Okay, I want Tyler Hero to... Come on, I want... Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. Frick! Dennis Schroeder's almost got a triple-double. Let's get him double digits. Alright. Dennis Schroeder, post-fade, looking like Kobe. Nope, not even close. He got the rebound, though. Alright, I want Schroeder to get at least 10. He's not having the greatest game. 7 assists, though. I am perfectly fine with 7 assists. Green Bean! 10.7 rebounds, 7 assists from Schroeder. Very good game. 
Kevin Love's got 19. Jimmy's got 25. I've got to check what Beal has. Bam's got 13 and 13. 13 and 14. Hero has got 12. I wanted to pull up, but that's not going to happen. Let's go, Bam. You know what? Let's get Bam involved. Go, Bam. You know what? Shoot it. Shoot it. You have an F3. We've been working on it. And now you close. All right. Oh, that's Michael Kidd Gilchrist. He's number 14. Vincent Edwards is playing right now. We got John Wall. That was bad contest. And he missed. All right, Jimmy. Let's get you involved. Let's get you involved, Jimmy. Effing B buckets. And game over. All right, we ended up winning by 12 points. John Wall, 15 points, only two assists. That's not John Wall's stat line. Romeo Langford, 15 points. What's he averaging? 11 points on the season. Went to 12, 4, and 3 with two blocks. He shot terrible. He's actually having a really good season. Is he playing small forward? It would make sense if he played small forward. 16 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal and a half, a block, shooting good percentages. I might move him to small forward since they got Wall back. It would really make sense. They got Rui Hachimura. He's their power forward, so I could also move him to power forward. But damn, all right, Winslow. I see you. Wall's having a terrible season. I've got to check our team. Butler dropped 27. Beal 19. He shot terrible. Kevin Love, great game. Bam at about 15 and 14. Five turnovers, very bad. Over for five from three. Don't shoot them eight threes, dude. This isn't right. Kevin Love should not be leading us. Scoring wise. I don't know what's wrong. Is balance not the way to go? Like, no one's scoring. Pace and space, maybe? Seven seconds. You know, if we're going seven seconds. I don't even care. We're going seven seconds because our team can't score for crap, apparently. Where's staff? I'm just going to edit Spoltra. So, he has seven seconds. Where is it? Uh, there we go. Seven seconds will do. I don't know why. Like, I know it's early in the season, but Kevin Love should not be your leading scorer. Beal's playing terrible. Dennis Schroeder's out playing him. Like, even Jimmy Butler, he's shooting good. But 16 points? Bam out of battle's killing it, by the way. Killing. He should not be averaging two turnovers. No way he should be averaging two turnovers. But still, he's killing it. He's having a great season. 10% for three is terrible. But it's all good. Hero, disappointing. Very, very disappointing so far. He had a decent rookie season. Very, very decent. He's getting the same amount of minutes. He should be putting up the same numbers, if not better. He's an 80 overall. He's only 20. He's, he needs to start playing better. He's just not playing. KZ, shooting very, very good. Seven and a half points. I am perfectly fine with that. 
Trey Burke, 7 points. Fine with that, just get your percentages up. Jeff Green, you're barely getting minutes. So yeah, Kevin Love should not be our leading scorer. We are once again one of the worst offenses. But probably one of the best defenses. No, one of the worst defenses also. <sighs> we are the fifth worst team in the league. This is terrible. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. GG.